Hey guys, uh, welcome back to studio. This is a uh, Sony Vegas sort of uh, basic and um, a bit of, bit on the know-how tutorial. So I'm just going to open Sony Vegas here. Change the background. Right. Right. First thing about Sony Vegas is it's a fantastic um, program. So I'm just gonna show you this. So for example, I just click on this X here and this X here. I'm thinking, oh no, where, where, where am I gonna edit? Where's my other tools? You know, I um. So you wanna go to View, Window Layouts, and then Load Default Layout, and I'll take you back to when you first got it. Now, if you wanna change anything, you can. You can move the, you know, these up. Uh, if you wanna save it, you just go to File view window layouts and then save layout as and then just name it and click OK which is pretty cool so you can always you know have the way you lay it out right I'm just going to uh, load mine because I'm a bit confused right now there we go mine's nothing special but hey um, also these here you only got your video FX's um, I'll show you this trick now. First, I want to import a um, clip. I always go into File and click on Import. You can do it any other way by clicking the icon, but I just do it this way so I know what I'm doing. Now, I'm just going to import this clip here of me on a ranked game getting a blind fire. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, if you haven't done already, I always go into File, Properties. This is just change. The, doesn't change anything else. It changes the property of the project. Now the, the default one should be NTSC DV 720 by 480. Now what I do is I keep everything the same, but I change the height to 388. So that way it looks more better. So it's just like so the video's not massive. You don't get the huge black everywhere. So yeah. And I'm thinking I know I want to widescreen this little clip. So right click click on properties and you can do it two ways you can go properties which I'm going to show you now right click properties go to media and then go all the way down to pixel aspect ratio and it should say 1000 square now change it to NTSC DB uh, widescreen click OK so it should widescreen in a minute just let it load up a second there we go just loaded it halfway now um there's no ways where you can click on prop, you can right click, click on switches and click on maintain aspect ratio but that just pretty much covers a whole but we want it like a widescreen effect so turn that off right now I've done that I'm gonna show you how to sort of make your own custom things you don't have to always get your ones out, say for example uh, where is it now, let me just find this Saturation uh, adjust. Now you got you should you should have reset to none, boost mentals, saturated, and a couple other things. Now just click the, the normal. Now what you're gonna do is mess about this stuff. See if I increase that. You can't tell, but it should increase that. Now oh by the way, that that this little green button with an X gets rid of that, that stuff. Now, what I do is I put the sensor down, put the amount amount full. And put the spread full, so it should look like that. See the difference? It looks a lot better. Now, what we want to do is, if you want to keep this preset, so you can always just so all you have to do then is just slide it across, and it'll just change. It'll just put that effect in. We click on preset here, call it H H H or something, and then you want to click the little save icon. Now, if I click off this, see, see, it's there. H H H. So I can always come back to it. You know, and drag it in, and then just you know you can always constantly using it anyway I'll do uh, ooh, got too much effects off this now so I'm just going to take a little bit off right there we go right if you want to do about keyframing so say for example I've got a clip here and you want to click on the little square button right next to it so it goes to pan and crop, crop feature which means you can mask or reposition um, you know the camera angle so this here is a timeline for your um, for your clip that you've clicked on. So here we go, you want to scroll this up right here, he's about to roll, so I'm going to click the plus sign to give myself this little keyframe here. So it doesn't do anything up to that keyframe now. So I'm going to just go ahead the next second, and I'm like, whoa, I missed the two Vs by a blind fire. So as soon as I, just before my blind fire, let's see where to find another blind, there is. Now I'm going to tap the arrow, go back, 
tiny tiny frames back and I'm just gonna zoom in so uh, I don't know I'm not, I'm not to be honest I can't go out spend a lot of time on this I just wanna zoom in pretty quickly and then I've zoomed in and then as soon as I pop his head I want to just click, right click and click restore. Resort, restore is a fantastic feature. You just right click, restore. There we go. It's gone back. And then uh, Matt, and then you want to just end that. And then obviously you've done a clip of uh, keyframing. I hope this isn't. I hope I'm. I hope I'm, I hope I'm explaining this because uh, see, runs in, runs in, zooms in. You can see it fantastic, but yeah, it zooms in. Another feature as well, if you want to click S on your keyboard, that splits the clip, see, it splits it up. And to uh, make things slow, you want to click on Central, which is C T R L, and get your mouse, and if you drag it like this, so you're dragging it longer, uh, this little blue line means it's plus 3 seconds, so it gives the clip an extra 3 seconds, but slows it down, like, so it's going in slow motion. If you want to speed it up, like again, Central, right click, and then you put it back to you know back towards you so that means it speeds up but if you want to put it back you want to, if you want to put the clip back to where it originally was you just use this little blue thing here and right now it's a minus 0 0.07 which means it's going to be like a tiny tiny bit quicker but you want to put it on 0, 0, 0 like I have so that's one extra feature there that you got now um, media generators are pretty cool that the media generators is just basically all your um, All your solids, all your gradients, titles, stuff like that. Really, nothing fantastic, but comes the program, so can't argue. Right, I wanna obviously import another clip now, and I'll show you another little nifty trick. I'll upload this one. Right now, I've got it. I wanna drag it into the timeline. So here we go. It's the timeline. It's on Gears of War 2. Yeah, yeah. We all hate it, but hey, I got it. So um. Here yeah, I get some crazy kill, I get like three kills of a grenade and then like one shotgun. So if you want to um do a pause effect, you wanna click S and then see this little here? This is a, this little thing just above your timeline. That's called save snapshot to file. So you click that and you wanna click it, yep, I'll save it to my desktop. Now if you want to move this, you have a still image. So this is like a pause. So if I just click play now. See, it's playing. It's playing for a couple seconds, and it's it's still. It's completely still. So, that's 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 a way of um, getting it to do a pause um, or a freeze, if you want to call it. Uh, I'm not too sure where you can download extra plugins, but I got a couple. But that just came with the program when I got it. Well, this is um, in studio, so. I hope this tutorial has uh, helped you in some way. If it hasn't, please just tell me. Um, so, thank you.